Hello, um, you guys wanted a tutorial on how to make the, um, little panda bear. But I'm making mine out of green color and a red color. Because the black and white, it got all dirty while I was making it. And I don't know if you can see it, so I don't know. But, so I'm going to kind of make it strawberry looking. Um, you guys can do the same thing if you want to. Um, you don't have to, but here goes. So, I, right here's the head, as you can see. Um, you kind of flatten it out towards the side like this. Just press it on. Make it like a big kind of round teardrop. I don't know. And there. And with the body, you just kind of want to roll it around, you know, just make it roundish like a teardrop like kind of like the head but the head will be like a bigger teardrop with a flat like behind the right here behind the panda and then it'll be kind of flat there where that line is where the black line is and you put it together like this Ta -da! and pretty much you know just shape it up you know make it look nice and here it's just a short line of green or roundish and that will be this black right there between the head and the body and you simply put it like this and kind of flatten it out you know or no no darn it I screwed it okay take it off don't do what I did yeah I'll put that back to Darn it. Anyways, okay, just roll it and make it flat. Okay, now press it down with your fingers. Just flatten it out. Like that. And then you put it on the panda. But try to make it even looking. So we put it on the panda. There, that looks better now. And kind of flatten it out, you know. Make it up coat. And let's just squeeze our panda together. Squeeze it out a little more. Okay, got that part done. Now we're making the feet. You just kind of, again, you just kind of want to make it like small teardrops. Just small little, like pebbles. Or I don't know how to put it. Just round it up. Make it all nice and round. Like that. Uh, you're probably going to want to make it bigger. Add some more. Doo -doo. Keep doing that. Uh, doo -doo. Okay. And okay. Now we want to add on to the body. Put one out like this. Squish it on that little cute panda. This is gonna be really cute. I did not realize that. That was kind of kind of not ugly, but like disappointing to you and you just keep doing that so you can fast forward it like two couple seconds or 30 seconds ahead and you do that again you want the front paws to be just a tad bit smaller than the back ones the back ones will be a little bigger and so just kind of round it make it cute a weird looking panda. You do that? I don't even think this will look like a panda. Okay, and flatten out the back if it's not flattened out. Because like right here where those lines are, it's kind of flat, like a slope down it. Kind of. And, and, see. Let's try to get this done faster. Don't take take your time. Okay. And let's see, let's keep going. And yeah, that work. Okay, and then you put it flat out towards the butt. To the butt. And you put it on the butt. Like that. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my. Sorry. I, I just love one time I was 
painting a Pikachu, and I, it's just, the, during the whole time, I was like, Pika Pika, you know, like the whole time, I don't know why, it's just one thing I do, and so on, you put on the next one, okay, that one doesn't look as good, we'll, we'll fix that, or I'll fix that, I don't know. And even, I don't know, as I can see, even if I'm making the strawberry panda, as I call it, there's still red stuff on the green clay. Mostly because you get it on your fingers, and then it's just like, ugh. And now we are going to make the ears. Okay, so you see so far, I did like that. So if yours doesn't look like mine or anything close to it, um... I, I don't, I don't know, you might want to try it again or just look over it twice. Right now I have the size of piece of clay, as you can tell. And you simply put it in half like this. And you roll it. I think I'll make these ears a little bigger than the ones I did here. Unless you want them to be that size. Done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, let's see. Yeah, actually, I'll make it a little smaller. Never mind. Just okay. So, really, I'm just doing that. See that size? It's really small now. And about that size, and you put it on your panda, like right there. See? Oh, this is such a cute strawberry panda. I'm sorry. I can't. I, I didn't think it'd come out this cute. I've said that how many times now? Like ten. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, put it like that. Wow, this is coming. And earlier, make it flat on the sides like this, and the butt just a little flat, and the face is kind of around. And it's gonna be flat there. Little head. Okay. Um, okay, now making the eyes. This, to me, is kind of the hardest part. Sort of, not really, but... Because it's so small. You make it small, really small. See, so like, really small. And you do that again. And you simply flatten them out like that with your finger. And you do this with a red one too, just a tad bit smaller. Or, no, no, I gotta think here for a moment. Um, okay, let's do that. Okay. Okay. See with the eyes here. Um, they're kind of. First, it's black because that's the color of the thing right there, that neck part. And then it's white as the skin color. And then it's black again. So it's kind of like a pattern. So I'm guessing. Okay. So first put green. Don't no, I can't get it off. Um, let's see, let's let me get it off. Okay, there. Just flatten it on your fingers. Make it all around. There. And put it on one side. It, I don't think the eyes have to be really perfect looking. Because you know, panda's eye, like where the black part is, some are really funky looking. And if you really want your panda to look realistic or just kind of cute and funny looking, this would probably be, you know, part where it's just like, you know, nice looking. You know, you don't have to really make it look 
like, oh, it has to be perfect. You know, don't worry about that. Yeah, so you just do that. Ah, darn it. I should not have done that. Okay. And like that. Stick it on the face. And you do it again, just with the red, make it smaller. Hello. Hello. I'm making a video right now. Oh. For YouTube. How to make a clay panda. I'm busy. Just let's go. Let's go. That was my mom. She was just wondering what I was doing. I had a feeling somebody's gonna walk in here. And you put it on top of the eyes. <laughs> my brain looks like I'm gonna kill you, dee dee dee. So you just do that on top of the eyes. Um yeah, so you only need two small little green circles and two little or two bigger size green circles and then two smaller red circles. So man, this is such a cute strawberry panda. Wow, sorry, sorry. Ah, dude, I did it again. And if you have long nails, you have a disadvantage. Because, like, my nails are kind of long, but, like, I'll touch my panda with my nail, and they'll be like, oh, no. Oh, wow, that is so cute. Okay, and you're done with it. Voila. So that is how you make a clay panda. And see, pretty similar. I don't know if you Oh, you're so cute. Okay. And so that's how you make your clay panda. Um, good luck. And say well. Darn it. That, that, no, goodbye. Darn it.